What's up guys? Welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. Welcome to Q&A Mondays. I'm Thad Barnett. We're back with our regional series and today we're looking at the Midwest region. And today to help me out, I have Brett and Mike from the Sheffield Metal Sales Department. Thanks for being here, guys. So we're talking about uh, everywhere from the Dakotas uh, down to Nebraska, Iowa, uh, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, all the way through Virginia, Kentucky, uh, Indiana, Ohio, that whole Midwest region there. So let's start with um, the weather in this region. Talk to me about the weather and kind of what forces a home or building would typically contend with in your region. Mike, let's start with you and then we'll go over to Brett. Yeah, Thad, the area I cover, we, we have a full spectrum of weather. We were out last week visiting customers in Kentucky and we saw temperatures as low as negative seven. But then in July and August, we see temperatures in the mid 90s. Uh, we do have strong winds, we do have forcible rains, and we do have accumulating snow. All these have different forces on roofs that you have to contend with when you're installing and or warranting. And Brett, you know, we're talking in your area, uh, the extreme north of the United States, and talk to me a little bit about that. And, and we have all four seasons here, and in all four seasons we have harsh weather. So it, it's difficult, you know, to, to process and do your work through with this hard weather and struggles of the, the high heats and the wind and the snow and the rain. So we see it all, you know, up here in the north. We, we get used to it. We get hardy, I guess. Yeah. So when it comes to construction, specifically metal roofing products, you know, what do you guys see usually installed in those areas? Uh, we see the nail flange, the snap lock, the mechanical seams and the plethora of wall panel systems, just depending on where you are. Are we talking about mostly steel products? Primarily steel. We do see some people using some aluminum in different areas, but you know the large majority of it is steel. Are there any specific types of architectural styles that you see in any of your areas? Yeah, we do. We see a, a plethora of different architectural styles depending on where you are. You get down in the coastline, obviously that's where you have the breaking surf and you see more of the aluminum on the, the we'll call them the beach or oceanfront houses down to the, the ranches and older style homes or colonial styles in the Virginias, all the way up to the Midwestern farmhouse in Ohio and up, up in the Brett's area. A lot of the roofs are 612, 812 up here because of the snow load. We, we very rarely see people designing flat roofs. Most of the roofs are pitched. Yeah, so in regards to that popularity of metal increasing, you know, what's the contractor fabricator market like in your areas? Do a lot of people have roll forming machines? Are there a lot of regional manufacturers? We have a, a lot of people, a lot of manufacturers. We have machines and everything. We're really struggling with qualified, skilled labor to help kind of augment some of these jobs where we just don't have enough people with as much work that's coming in. We could use some more good uh, fabricators and stuff like that also and installers up here. So when we talk about the Midwest region, what are some ways that Sheffield Metals supports your specific areas? Mike, we'll start with you. Well, we have manufacturing and distribution in Sheffield Village or the west side of Cleveland, and that ships to the whole region. We have Brett and myself as outside salespeople or point of contact for the customers at their facility. We have an inside sales team to help customers as they call into the offices for help and placing orders and so forth, along with a marketing, architectural, and technical support to help them also. Brett, tell me about your area and how Sheffield supports Something new with Sheffield that's really been helping me is that we call it the CAT team, the commercial, architectural, technical team. And I've been discussing this with my smaller customers and bringing these people in. It helps augment the small company with expertise from these people in the department to compete with quotes and bigs on the big companies. So this has been kind of pretty successful. We're just groundworking now, but it's been working good. So let's switch over the conversation a little bit to advice for contractors. Maybe I'm looking to start a business. Maybe I'm looking to expand into metal. Um, Brett, let me start with you. Give me some advice that you would share with a contractor in your area. I, I, I would say to them, it's very important to match the roof system with the pitch or structure of the roof. If we have a low slope panel, we don't want to marry it to a high slope area. And, and, you know, that's where we have problems. And then on your trim, it's very important to pay extra detail to your trim details and not go cost effective there. Because when I've seen a roof system fail, it's usually faulty installation or poor craftsmanship 
on the trim. And if we can eliminate those things, I, I think we, you know, you do well in this area and there'd be enough work for you. Mike, tell me about some advice you'd have for a contractor. Uh, one thing is vet your suppliers. Make sure you're using a quality product that you're proud to put your name on. Make sure you're dealing with a supplier that gets back with you, follows up, is responsive, and stands behind their warranty and their product. And Mike, what about for home or building owners? If they're looking to purchase a metal roof for their uh, building, you know, what advice would you have for them? Thad's videos, Q&A Monday. We have a plethora of information on the YouTube channel that you can get, I don't want to say you can get lost in, but you can spend a lot of time educating yourself on the different kinds of metal, the different kinds of structures you can put it on, the different kinds of colors, a, a plethora of information you can learn from. Yeah, I appreciate the plug. <laughs> Brett, how about you? What advice do you have for a home or building owner? There is a lot of excellent metal roofing systems. It is important to put the right metal roofing system with the right project structure. Going into the residential standing seam, initially the costs up front for the metal roof are a lot higher, but we have the minimum expectation of 60 years life expectancy on that standing seam roof, whereas versus a shingle roof, you, you get an estimated life expectancy of 20 years. And the next, you'd have to replace that shingle roof three times before you'd even get to the minimums of the standing seam roof. So talk to me about the availability of metal roofing materials in your overall region. I know you mentioned um, that it's gaining popularity, um, but are there any areas where, you know, it's, it's very concentrated and then some areas where you might not see as many installers? What does that look like? Mike, let me start with you. Well, on the material side, it's good, knock on wood. <laughs> We're not seeing any large delays. Even through the pandemic, we didn't see any major delays. Things got backed up a bit, but overall was very good. We did see some price variations, which we're seeing again, but overall the material availability is good. As far as the installer, the contractor, and, and getting things actually put on your roof, they're busy. I mean, good people are backed up for a while. Uh, you always have to plan for that. That kind of varies state to state, area to area on you know, lead times and things like that. Brett, what about you? I think metal has been growing in popularity everywhere, from the farmhouses to downtown and big metropolises. We're seeing it everywhere. And the availability seems to be very strong. And again, to kind of parrot what Mike said, we could use some more installers and stuff. The projects seem to get a little further you know, out in the deal, but you know. Other than that, I think the metal industry up here in the, in the Midwest is very strong and uh, we have lots of options and choices to choose from. All right, Mike and Brett, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, comment down below or check out SheffieldMetals.com to contact our outside sales team about your Midwest region. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.